Okay, I'm here honey for New York Comic Con. See if I can get pops. People already here. It's like 8:30. It's crazy. I just want a Vegeta pop. If we can get that, we win. Cross your fingers. <sighs> Let's go get these pops from Hot Topic. Frozen water knock. Look. Twilly. <laughs> PB8. Oh. Dabba. Dabby. No, I don't want. No, I don't want. Hunters. Goku, oh my, all for one, uh-oh, Goten, Vegeta, Goku, Radish, Angel, Old School, Marvel Girl, Phoenix, Beast, Cyclops, oh they got look at this, The other Becky Lynch. Cabbage cart, cabbage man cart. Hero Killer Spain. Let it go. Let it go. Purple and blue now, I'm like, wait a second. I'm not done. <laughs> we know what y'all did. Yeah, mess it up. You got a piccolo. I'm gonna forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my Sunday for Nar. Sunday, it's a shame what happened to my Sunday. Mm -mm -mm. Don't want to ruin it for anybody. Mm -mm -mm. Kato and the Green Hornet. Two pack. Debbie from My Hero Academia. And Debbie is a cool villain in the show. He's a part of the Vanguard Action Squad and he's, he's just a sadistic dude. Um, he is very powerful, and they have some other. He ha, he has some great backstory. Um, I don't want to go into it too deep, but it has some. <laughs> he could be connected to one of the main characters deeply. And one thing I like about this pop is they really nailed it with the uh, the tattoos, the scars, his even the uh, his uh, three prong earrings in his ear. They really got it, and. His pop is amazing because you see his power getting ready to be unleashed with the fire at the bottom of his feet and the fire uh, fireball in hand. This character, <laughs> he's a major badass. He's a major badass. And a lot of My Hero Academia fans love him. Um, you see the scarring, the burns, all of that. They, re they went in real detail. And they really nailed this one. This is one of the most accurate pops you will see out there. And you can actually visualize see him in the cartoon. They really nailed it. Piccolo. 
And this is a cool pop. You have Piccolo in a meditate stance, levitating in the air. And this is just iconic. This is one of the um, things where you see that um, watching the early Dragon Ball Z shows, you'll see uh, Piccolo with the weighted clothing, turban, and cape, just meditating, preparing for a fight that's about to happen. And this is cool pop. Piccolo is a, is a good side character for Dragon Ball. Just call it is what it is. But he serves a purpose. Um, anybody that watches the show, or a lot of people who has watched the show, knows that the Saiyans are the mainstays of the show and just like where the ceiling is. And Piccolo seemed to come into that second tier fighting level. There's, there's no knock on him. Just the way it is. But... Uh, I love this pop for anybody who's a DBZ fan and definitely a Piccolo fan. This is something you you will get. It's a bit different from the uh, the original pop they had for Piccolo. Daria, and if you're not familiar with Daria, Daria was a spinoff character from the iconic television show Beavis and Butthead, where the character received so much praise, she ended up getting a show in 1997. And the show lasted from 1997 to 2002. Daria was a, a teenager with a smart wit and a sarcastic mouth that people just love. And this character is for some of the old school fans. Daria was so popular on MTV back in the day. And people very, very much enjoyed the show. This character looks exactly like the character from the TV show with the uh, iconic jacket, black skirt glasses and the sarcastic um underwhelmed look that she carried the whole time it was just pretty much nothing that really got to her no matter what the situation she was very funny and it put him in the, uh it put the show in a very different mode but people love it anybody that from the old school remember daria and this is a must-have pop nick fury and one of the cool things about this pop um let me just go ahead and let you know this is the original Nick Fury. If anybody that was didn't know what Nick Fury was before the uh, MCU or the movies came out, this is what he originally looked like. So, and um, and the funny thing happened, like we were, I was in GameStop, and I was pretending like, oh man, they're changing Nick Fury white. Oh, the outrage! I liked when he was Samuel L. And we were just laughing because some people, if you just pick it up and then it didn't know anything, you'd think that they're changing. The, the Nick Fury character. But this is cool. This is the original Nick Fury suit in his original S.H.I.E.L.D., the director, the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D., as most of us know. Knows. And another cool thing about the uh, the pop, um, the box is amazing. They have one of the original comic books with him and his Howling Commandos uh, featured on the back. And it's just, it lets you know that it's a iconic 80 year celebration of the Marvel Universe. So this Nick Fury has him with his classic eye patch um, on the left side, the guns and the standard shield blue and white. Super Saiyan Vegeta. And what I like about this pop is that it's always good to get uh, a Vegeta pop, a Goku pop or whatnot. But this is a little bit different because you see him powering up and getting ready to unleash a blast. Um, Vegeta might be my favorite character in all of Dragon Ball. And so when I saw this was a part of the exclusives for the New York Comic Con, I definitely had to jump on this one. Um, I know it's multiple Vegeta pops and they go up and when they, you know, the Vegetas, the Gokus and things of that nature, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z collectors know they have to jump on it. And this is pretty much the case here because um, they're so popular. This is like one of the OG animes of all time. And any character, especially Vegeta, you definitely have to get it. So you see him get ready to unleash it. I think it's the Gatling gun. And you got the power up on his near his feet. His energy level is rising. You could feel the fierceness of the Prince of All Saiyans. And this is an amazing pop. So remember... If you enjoyed this episode, like and subscribe. And if there's an episode you haven't seen, check out the previous episodes we have already uploaded. Keep chasing pops.